UFOs are real and aliens are real, but they're not from outer space. And that's according to the top two UFO researchers after decades long research. So go to Sabrell.com and so pray. where do they it's think up they're there from? Time. They're not from outer space. They're interdimensional and potentially fallen angels disguising themselves because they're liars of, of something, like you said, can't be proven or disproven. I'm from this galaxy yeah. 300 light years away. <laughs> this is kind of what Tucker Carlson thinks. He, I, he thinks I, there's I, a spiritual element to it. And he thinks they've always been here. And he thinks that this is what's kind of documented in the Bible is like good and evil. And that's angels. it. Exactly. I mean, that's what's going on. I mean, the top two UFO researchers said UFOs are real. Number one. Number two, they're not from outer space. And number three, they're demonic. And that's what I talk about. The where it talks about fallen angels interbreeding with humans, as talked about in Genesis 6, and creating a race called Nephilim, who were men of renown, world leaders. Could you? But here's the second, second point, point about, about President Clinton. When he finally, after denying it 20 times, admitted that he had an affair, a reporter asked him, why did you do it? And you know what he said, why? What? Because I could. Mm. Meaning because I could get away with it. That's what people need to see. They did fake the moon landing. And why did they do it? Because they could. And these people are still in power. It's well, a dangerous also, thing. Also because they wanted to win this Cold War with Russia. They wanted to get this uh, economic and cultural victory. Right? Well, that could be their what, excuse. What, okay, but. so... So here's another question. You murder Americans to do that? Allegedly beneficial? murder Americans. Well, we, we assume. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't really know. The Thomas Ronald Barron one is a wild one because that, repa that report was buried, correct? After that? That's right. And in the report, do we have details of exactly what was said in the report? Well, basically, he said what Gus Grissom said. They're a decade or more away from going to the moon. And that was after the Apollo 1 fire, the Barron report. And, of course, he died right before he was to testify to Congress, right? What a coincidence. Yeah. About how NASA was so far behind schedule. But now, you know, NASA has never kept a schedule a single time in their entire history, except the most complicated mission of all time. They were ahead of schedule. And do you realize there's never been an aerospace machine, airplane, whatever, that ever worked on the first occasion, not even the Wright Brothers plane, and a 747 after millions of aircraft had already been built, 10 years more technologically advanced than the Apollo rocket. It took 168 attempts to get off the ground. And yet, for the first time in history, the, the, there was an aviation project that worked on the first occasion that happened to be the most complicated one of all time. You see that coincidence? How about that?